I'm here at a soon to be open Tesla supercharger station in Raleigh Durham area of North Carolina at a Sheets gas station, getting ready to do a news coulomb site review of this brand new EV charging station. Something tells me that a 12 station Tesla supercharger with a canopy immediately off the interstate with 24 seven amenities in an attached convenience store that also has food, it's gonna score pretty well. So this is a magic dock station that has both the J3400 handle as well as the built-in adapter for CCS1 cars. So as you can see, this is a rather unique configuration for a Tesla supercharger station where these uh, pedestals are side by side, allowing a Tesla to either nose in or back in, depending on which pedestal they're gonna use. And it also makes them accessible to non-Teslas that have charging ports in different locations. There's also, as you can see, one stall in the traditional Tesla location, which is the ADA compliant location uh, stall. And I'm not quite sure why that's the only one like that, but all these other ones, I guess they wanted to have them underneath the canopy or something, I'm not quite sure. But is a rather novel design for a Tesla supercharger station. Okay, now that we have a general lay of the station, let's go ahead and get into the scoring. Here's the vital statistics. It's the Tesla supercharger at the Sheets in Morrisville, North Carolina, immediately off Interstate 40 and next to the Raleigh-Durham International Airport. The plug share location will be linked down below in the description. It has 12 stalls fed from three 575 kilowatt Tesla V3 chargers with J3400 uh, J3400 handles and the optional Magic Dock for CCS1. The three chargers feeding the 12 dispensers can do load sharing. Uh, there is no Auto Charge Plus like EVgo, but there is ISO 15118 for plug and charge. The new Schoolum Site Review model is a five category scoring method for 50 points. Each category has 10 points. The categories are access, amenities, concentration, location, and speed. As I mentioned, it's select the site selection is very shrewdly done. It has got multiple benefits for it. Not only is it right next to the airport, it's right off the interstate, and it's also at a facility that's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, that has both grab-and-go and counter service food made to order. Really a nice place. Now let's get into the scoring. Starting with access, it does have ADA compliant spaces, at least one of them, uh, but it does not have any pull through stalls. So it doesn't get a point for that. The effective cable management, I would say yes, these are version four dispensers. So the cables are longer and also they coil up very easily. So I don't think there's any problem there. There is no parking enforcement and icing, but I gave it this check mark because I'm assuming it was just because I was there before the final window dressing was put on the location. It was still not operational. So I, I don't think I've ever been to a Tesla supercharger where there hasn't been signage on the uh, parking spaces. So likely that's just gonna be coming up as a finishing step. So I give it a check mark there. Uh, the property has multiple points of ingress and egress, and this is immediately adjacent to one of them. So it gets a check mark for that and it's also very close to the amenities. The main thoroughfare is very close. You could throw a rock and uh, be on the road that will connect you to Interstate 40 and the airport. However, it doesn't have any point of sale options. So if you wanna use a credit card, you cannot. You have to use the app or uh, plug and charge if your car is compatible. I do think it has sufficient solves. Uh, the 12 count seems to be more than plenty. Now let's talk access. Now let's talk amenities, I'm sorry. Uh, this station cleared the category. Uh, I would like to start with the bottom one first, novelty. Although you might say that an airport is not a sightseeing location, uh, being so close to an airport is just an, a really optimal location selection. Uh, think of all the rideshare people that are gonna be camped out at the site waiting to pick up people from the airport. Also people who are doing a cell phone lot waiting for someone to show up to uh, departures, or I'm sorry, arrivals and they need to pick them up. Or you drop someone off, you need a little bit of juice to get back home, it's just right there. So it's a terrific location. The um, 
The location also has areas to walk your pets if you wish to, and places to sit both indoors and outdoors to eat. Now, as far as dining options, Sheets doesn't have fast food restaurants of national brands like other places do. However, they do have their own brand called Made to Order, where you can select some type of food, and it's a form of quick service kind of very similar to fast food where they make the food for you and you can sit down and eat some hot food. They also have uh, snack and drink options because they have a full service convenience store. Uh, so it got check marks for both of those. These stalls also have already positioned really nicely uh, by the site host sheets, trash cans and squeegees at almost every single location. So Sheets did a great job of pre-positioning garbage cans and squeegees for you. So they're very welcoming of their Tesla Supercharger customers. The canopy has overhead lighting built into it. So plenty of overhead lighting and also the facility is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week for both bathroom and security. Now let's talk concentration. Because it has 12, 12 stalls, it gets all the points for that. Plus, um, I consider this to be sufficient for the route, region, and venue. And there's also other Tesla superchargers pretty close to this location, so it gets a check mark for there as well. Again, clearing the category. Very high score. For location, what it doesn't get is the charging desert um, selection. So this is uh, Raleigh Durham is just not a charging desert, so it's not going to get check marks there. However, it is very close to the interstate. I could walk and be on the on-ramp to I-40, which is really nice. So if you're cruising down the interstate and you just need to stop to get a charge, it's right off the interstate. Or if you're going to the airport, again, it's right, uh, right in, next to the entrance to the um, main road into the airport. Now let's talk speed. One thing I want to call out is that because these are version 4 dispensers, there's some debate whether or not they're capable of 350 kilowatts of peak output. I gave it a no because these are paired with 300 with, with the uh, version 3 chargers. And I think the consensus is unanimous that you can't get 350 kilowatts on a version 4 dispenser paired with a version three charger plus i think the magic docks won't allow for the 800 volts to go through so i don't think it can get 350 at this site so i gave it a no for that but it does get the uh, the 150. as far as the throughput of the site there are three version three chargers at 575 each and a 1500 kva transformer so that puts it over a realistic one megawatt but under two megawatts giving it a total points of 44 out of 50. So there you have it, a soon to be open Tesla supercharger station here in Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, immediately off the interstate at a Sheets gas station convenience store. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching.